Yes, yes, this is a good question. Yeah, if you're recovering, that's the number one thing that you can tell whether or not that, that you're getting suitable intake. Normally, you're getting at least one gram uh, of protein per pound of lean body weight when you're trying to build or if you're doing a calorie deficit then obviously it goes up um, as high as 1.5 seldomly will we go higher than that but there are instances sometimes where we have especially with professional bodybuilders but for the most part one to one and a half grams is what we're shooting for of lean body weight now if you are super heavy and you have a high amount of body fat let's say 35 plus percent then obviously we're not going off of just your body weight. So you can be 350 pounds. We're not going to be doing 500, 600 grams of protein. So we want to be able to use your lean body weight. So, and I always recommend it, whether you use an in body or whether you want to use just calipers, depending on what's, uh, what's accessible for you. Sometimes you have DEXA scan, you have different methods. They're all pretty accurate. Um, the only time they're not accurate is when you got super, super low body fat or sometimes when you're super high. But at that point, it's just like get lean or hey, you already look good. Just go off the mirror because it doesn't matter the difference between 5% and 7% or 3 and 6. At that point, especially if you're getting ready for a con uh, some type of physique competition, nobody asks you to turn in your slip. This isn't the quarter mile races, you know, it's, and you got to turn in your time slip to show that you're faster than somebody else or got lower body fat. What it's really about is showing how, you know, to try to maximize that muscle pop while you're trying to make sure you're getting as lean as possible.